Hi guys. Um, today I want to review these pickups. They're Lindy Fralin Steel Pole 43 pickups. Um, they're pickups that are designed to fit in a strat, normal strat um, situation. Um, but they have the characteristics of a P90. Uh, Lindy uses um, ceramic um, magnets with steel poles, adjustable steel poles, um, and the, the sound is pretty amazing. Um, I had Lindy, Lindy Freeland, who you can uh, contact online, um, I had him make this pick guard for me, wired up the way I wanted it to be. Um, you can do that on his website. It's, it's very convenient. By the way, this is not sponsored, but uh, Lindy, if you want to throw a few bucks by me, that's okay. Um, no, I'm joking. Uh, he made this um, to my specifications, and basically what I requested was to have a blend knob on this bottom knob, and what this does is it blends the neck pickup um, with the other pickups um, from zero to ten. So if I'm at, at ten, I have this pickup on full. If I have it at five, I have this pickup on at five. And it's very useful for, for creating different combinations. In addition to that, um, I had him make this middle master tone knob. Um, when you pull it up, it puts this pickup out of phase with whatever whatever other pickup you have. So it gives me a tremendous amount of different sounds. And I'm, I'd like to go through some of these sounds for you just to show you how good this is. Okay, I'm going to start with the neck pickup um, with a little bit of overdrive um, and a little reverb. <laughs> stratty because this is after all a strat and any pickup you put in the neck position is going to sound like that a little bit but when you drive these pickups they really take on a different character um, this is the neck in the middle pickup <laughs> have the middle in the bridge pickup. That's pretty stratty sounding. So that you know the middle positions that you normally get that strat quack, you still get them. Now we'll go to the bridge pickup. It starts to get a little bit more P90-ish, um, but it's still not totally uh, there. Now I'm going to turn up the blend switch. I'm going to turn it all the way so you get full neck, full bridge. <laughs> Back off a little bit on the uh, tone 
and give you a little better T-bone walk out there. back um, I get Albert King guitars, uh, Peter Green. those same two positions and this is um, my best Michael Bloomfield <laughs> pickup as it starts to take on a little bit of that P90 sound. Albert King. I've got this in the bridge, in the middle, out of phase, um, with uh, some distortion. <laughs> It's kind of like a, um, an old school jump blues tone um, using um, lo fi recording and stuff. Uh, you kind of get this kind of sound. And, and this is uh, both pickups on all the way, um, out of phase. And um, I've, I've knocked off some of the uh, treble on the amp and increased the overdrive. down a little bit, I got the treble turned up a little bit, and I got the reverb really high. I'm using the neck pickup, and uh, this is what it sounds like. Thank you. 
Okay, now I'm going way back with B.B. King um, to the early 50s when he was still playing a um, 175 uh, and he was still playing um, a lot of jump blues style. Um, I have this out of phase. I have the neck pickup engaged about halfway. And I have the tone turned down just a little bit. And again, I have a lot of reverb. Okay, and now I'm just going to do a little bit of um, high gain stuff. Um, I don't normally play with high gain, but um, I'll try to get through this. Um, this is the neck position. Play this one because I always do. Uh -huh. 